know she ain't singing while running. In real life, that would be, I just can't afford if it's a million to one. Today I will be reacting to the new Cinderella movie starring Camila Cabello. I don't really follow Camila, the only thing I do know about her is that she used to be part of Fifth Harmony before she went solo. I heard there was a little bit of drama between her and the other members of that group. I heard about the allegations of her being a racist. I also heard that she had to go to a racism workshop, which kind of solidifies those allegations. And I know that she's currently dating Shawn Mendes. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and watch the movie. What? Once upon a time, there was an old-fashioned kingdom bound by tradition. Everyone had a part to play, and they played it without question. All right, I'm gonna pause here and predict the movie within the first few seconds. This movie is gonna be about how everyone has an archetype of like the damsel in distress, the prince, whoever, and it's gonna be about to find the archetypes that you were given. Like how Cinderella is supposed to be this damsel in distress who gets swept away by the prince, but then instead she chooses to be a girl boss bitch. Instead of just being a pretty little housewife, she opens up a shop to sell her dresses. She chooses her career over a man. That is her defined gender expectations, the role that she was given, the fairy tale archetype, blah, 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 girl boss bullshit. Let's see if I'm right. Looking for a better way of life. Ooh, Idina Menzel is playing the stepmom. Hello, stepmommy. I mean, stepmommy. I mean, stepmommy. Fuck, I mean, stepmommy. I mean, I mean. In this dingy basement, the stepdaughter. Ella. This is a dingy basement. This literally looks like a studio in New York that would be 4,000 a month. Others, they may cause you tears. Go ahead, release your fear. I love the emotion that she puts in this song. Go ahead, release your fears. All I know, all I know, love will save the day. Wait, they call her Cinderella because she's supposed to be covered in cinders? I'm not getting that at all. She looks way too clean and pretty. Come on, if you're gonna give her a nickname because she's covered in cinder, I wanna see this ashy bitch. Her knees are just covered in white. She's never touched a single lotion bottle in her life. I want fucking termites to be crawling out of her hair. Let's go all the way with this. Oh god, not these fucking rats. Actually, they're pretty cute, but because I know one of them is James Corden, I automatically dislike them. You hungry? Oh yeah. Nod your head, mate. If I were stepmommy, I would be so pissed if I had a kid living in my house and I found out she was feeding the rats perfectly good treats. Because you know when you feed them, they're gonna keep on coming inside the house. They're gonna invite all their other friends. This is so terrible for the real estate of the property. What is in her hair? Are those buttons? That's how you know she's a tailor. You can tell she's a dressmaker because she has fabric and buttons in her hair. I would argue if you are a good dressmaker, you would know where to place the buttons and it wouldn't be in your hair. Do the step family. They look fucking good. I love those colors. I love the neon. It's bold, but it shows a lot of personality. Their house is super cute too. Love the blues. They got a good thing going on. Ooh, the teacups too. So cute. I love the set design here. Cinderella, come on. You gotta give me something. Imagine if you served such swill to your future husband. How long would it take for him to abandon you? To understand just how worthless you are. You better tell her. Step on me, step mommy. You could be so pretty if you took even a second to comb that hair of yours. See, I was thinking the same thing. Why are there buttons in her hair? Why does her hair look like that? Why is it that every time you gotta show a humble, poor girl, she always has to have the side braid? They're not treating Cinderella that poorly. She can make dresses whenever she wants. This looks like expensive fabric too. So, hmm, I don't know about this girl being poor and abused. She looks like she got money. She looks like she has all the time to work on her hobbies. She basically has an entire design studio to herself. I would only pity her if they left her in a closet or something. Oh my gosh, she has a twin. Kill her. Kill the evil twin. I'm gonna be Who the hell did the sound production for this movie? Cause whoever did it has a vendetta against <laughs> Camila Cabello. Fifth harmony, I'm just asking for one harmony. <laughs> Me guzzling up Adina Menzel's shower water. This guy looks like they got Shawn Mendes from Walmart. I really just don't have the time in my schedule to be controlling these far off lands. Wait a minute, is he... You know... You can keep 
gallivanting here with your merry bros. And merry bros, five feet apart because they're not gay. Your offer is intriguing, but I have no intention on settling down anytime soon. Hmm, and why is it that? Is it because you're... You know, we've seen so many Cinderella remakes and not a single one of them bothered to try to make it gay. You would think we would have one by now. It would be so easy and people would just lap it up just for the sake of it being gay. I feel like it would make more sense for Cinderella to be a dude. The story trying to make it seem like, oh, you're not allowed to be with the prince. It's forbidden. It's not just the Seth family being bitches, but it's also them being homophobic or something. The closest I have seen to a gay Cinderella would be that Todrick Hall music video, but I feel like like an actual movie would have done really well. It would have been a cute way to give gay boys a fairy tale of their own. That way the whole scene of the fairy godmother giving a dress to him and him feeling good about himself, like it would have meant so much more, I think. It's a dress. Since the whole kingdom will be there today, I could find someone who will maybe buy it. To think that any girl, let alone you, would have the audacity to engage in matters of business, it's insane. I will not have you embarrassing this household with your blasphemy. There will be no girl bosses in my house. We may gaslight and we may gatekeep, but we sure as hell will not be girl bossing. <laughs> Women doing business? <laughs> I don't think so. Dude, I can't believe Camila Cabello wrote the 19th Amendment. What is embarrassing about her selling dresses though? Because if you look at the marketplace in these fairy tale stories, it's not like the vendors there are some prestigious class of people. They're just like regular people who are trying to sell little trinkets and stuff. So how would it be embarrassing? You're not giving me enough world building, Indina. It doesn't make sense. I love that strawberry dress. It's so cute on her. I'm very curious to see if the dresses she makes are gonna be on par with the cute dresses that the stepsisters have been wearing. Have you seen this? The king's idiot son. I would be the petty bitch that would draw something like that. Except I would make him bald because I can tell you right now, his hairline, it's gonna vanish in a few years. That's the perk of being the king. But I feel nothing for these women. It's crazy to think I'm actually gonna fall in love with one of them. You're not interested in women, are you? Is it because you're you know. And just out of spite, I'll give it all. The crown, the palace, everything. To your sister. Ooh, he has a sister? I wanna see her. Show me this bitch. Sorry. <gasps> I like her. Would this be a good time for me to mention how the kingdom could use the power of the wind instead of burning filthy Go. coal? She has good ideas. Make her the ruler. What has he given? What has he offered to the table? Nothing. Maybe she will be the ruler in the end. I mean, this movie is trying to be like feminist and modern, right? Maybe she will be. And he can give up his dreams to be, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care what happens to him. Maybe he can die or something. He can go fuck the stable boy. This is insane. I can't just pick some bride at a ball. And then what? We're supposed to grow all together into our forties. I mean, what are we even gonna talk about? I think this guy is fruity. Even if the movie doesn't want to admit it, it's giving me fruity. He's like, ew, I have to spend my whole life with a woman? I'd rather suck a dick. Each morning I get up, I die a little. All right, so die. I get down on my knees. You get down on your knees and what? Hmm? Is Camilla gonna try to climb onto this statue and then she's gonna make some kind of kerfuffle? Get off my dad! I knew it. Why would you go up there? It's just really hard to see in the back. I hereby decree all short peasants shall be pardoned by the king. Oop, bird poo. Really? Is that what's gonna make him fall in love with her? Cause she's just so gosh darn goofy. I hate it. I like this movie better when he was gay. Oh my God. I've never met a woman that made jokes before. That's it. I finally found her. My beard. Don't even think about it, Gwen. You're literally not even going to let me have a seat at the table. Oh my god, by showing that the king is not allowing his daughter to have a seat at the table, it parallels how women often don't have a seat at the table in the workplace. There's so many ties to the modern day sexism that we experience today as women. So you're just going to wander about until you find her wearing that ridiculous disguise? It works, Wilbur. You're right, it will work because you finally covered up that hairline. I'm your best friend, right? I have lots of friends. 
Of course you're my best friend. Yeah, I thought so. They're gay. They're gonna hook up. Girls, it shouldn't be so hard. But it is. Work is always hard. That's me. Work is hard, dude. I don't want to do shit. That's why they're trying to marry rich. I get it. In this life, you must marry rich. Get yourself a man who can pay for everything. And then you will never so much as have to hang your wet undergarments again. Honestly, she got a point. She got a point. Maybe Indina Menzel was the girl boss all along. No, 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 no. Do not cast your eyes on some farm boy. No matter how choosome he may be. And twosome he is. Ooh, she gonna fuck the farm boy? Do it, Indina! Just do it. Just do it for fun. Give him a good lay in the hay. Ayo! Here's a laugh. This girl fancies herself a businessman. <laughs> oh, this woman thinks she can do business. Oh. What if he bought the dress? And what if he wore it? <gasps> what if that awakens something in him? I should be allowed to sell it. Sure, but women can't own shops. Why can't women own shops? I don't get it. This is like just some random rule that this movie made up for the sake of sexism. Back in the day, women made plenty of stuff to sell. I'm talking to a stranger. I'll take it. The dress. I'll buy it. Is this pity? Are you doing this because you feel sorry for me? No, it's not. It's because he's... Prince Robert needs a ball to find his bride. Rumors must be true. He serves no real function other than to wreck things. That the real brains of the family's Princess Gwen. Duh. And that he's a mama's boy who I heard from time to time still gets spanked on the tush tush. What if she just went all in on him? She's like, yeah, I heard he was a fucking loser who still sucks milk from his mom's teeth. Those rumors she said are true. He doesn't do shit. He's useless. I haven't seen him serve any kind of purpose or give any ideas for how to improve their kingdom. His sister clearly is much more intelligent than him. There will be guests there from all over the world. Open-minded people with cash to spare. I can introduce you if you like. Why would you do that? Let's just say I know what it feels like to not quite fit into the crate you were born into. Let's just say that I know exactly how you feel because you are a poor woman and I am a rich man. So I know exactly how it feels to be stifled by societal expectations and financial burden. Huzzah! Huzzah! Hope the dress fits! I'm gonna try it on as soon as I get home. Okay. He's kind of cute. Honey, he's gay. <laughs> It will cease to be a distraction. Hope you hope you don't look back. I too leave a meeting while singing mainstream 2000s pop songs. Who am I wrong? Girl, that's the best you can do for a dress? You're going to a ball, not to prom. What is this, Forever 21? This dress is so boring. The Steph family has been serving looks this entire movie, and we got this plain Jane of a dress. Girl, you are not gonna make it as a dressmaker. It's vanilla. It's forgettable. How is it possible that you live with a family that serves amazing looks every day, and you don't even take any inspiration from some of the looks that they're curating? It's just not interesting at all. You gotta be bold. You gotta stand out. You're trying to sell a dress right now to very wealthy elite people from all around the world. You gotta do something that stands out. This vanilla ass bitch. Stepmommy is right. She does not need to go to the ball. Don't embarrass yourself, honey. I spent weeks making this dress so that I could show women from all over the world that I Why would you? Oh my god, stepmommy. Don't pull so hard, stepmommy. Don't push me so hard, stepmommy. All the budget just went to the CGI for the fairy godmother. And you know what? It is what she deserves. Honestly, everyone's outfit is much better than Cinderella's dress. Wait, so if the fairy godmother brought this dress to life, is it actually legit for her to try to sell her business as a dressmaker? Because she didn't actually make that dress, a fairy did. Just because you draw it doesn't mean you actually made the dress. Because the execution is important too, so we're not really seeing her skills. If she's trying to sell a business off of her making a dress, this would be false advertisement. Whoa! You're boys? I always assumed you were girls. And why would you assume that? Because everyone knows mice are girls and rats are boys. <laughs> Isn't it so funny how this feminist Cinderella has a line about assuming gender roles in rats? I love this dialogue. It's so sharp and witty. As long as you're in that gown, no one will be able to recognize you. That's not good. I'm meeting a stranger there who's offered to help me. Fine. He alone will be the exception. Damn, magic just solves any plot holes, doesn't it? Would this be a good time for me to bring up my comprehensive plan to reduce poverty in the urban row housing? No, darling. Never. 
Read the room, bitch. We're not here for actual change. We're just here to make a vapid story that makes easy money. Although most men are hoes, he flows on the down low. Cause I never heard about him with another girl. That's right, you've never heard about him with another girl. Interesting. I'm gonna fight him off. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. This guy is singing Seven Nation Army to describe the women who are thirsting for him. And all these women are trapping him. He's afraid. Doesn't sound very hetero of you. You looking a little bit too scared, buddy. Yes, your highness. <laughs> your highness was the man whose blood I spilled to take this crown. Queen? Hello? What's her story? We're trying to make Cinderella girl boss. We have a real girl boss right here. Where did you get that dress? Me, me did. I it's, it's what, I, what, what, I, what I done. I designed it. No, you didn't, bitch. You did not make that dress. A fairy godmother made that dress for you. You are stealing credit. This business is illegitimate. Taking the credit of a black man's work? Typical. I'm looking for someone to travel with me to enliven my wardrobe. Maybe that person is you? Oh my god, lesbians? Let's go. Well, you got the meeting with the hot lesbian who's gonna give you money, so you're done. You don't need to waste your time anymore. Get the hell out of here. That's my dress. That's my dress on the princess. The dress is okay. I feel like the other dresses at the ball look better. I don't think she's that great of a dressmaker. It's a little bit too boring. Everyone else's dresses is so flamboyant and fun. I'm gonna need her to change it up more. They're really trying to convince me that they're straight by singing Ed Sheeran. They did their research. Oh my god. Are you gonna play something on the piano just for me? Oh my god, you are. The thing about this movie is that it tries too hard to be more modern in some of the scenes and the mannerisms and the dialogue. I guess because they think it's giving like a fresh take. Like it feels very jarring. I think you can pull it off in an old timey fantasy setting but have more modern dialogue and humor but they're just not blending it very well together. It's not that I don't want to be king. When I was little, I remember watching my father go off to war and thinking how brave he looked in his armor. He's gonna talk about how much he loves to travel. So in the end, he's gonna decide to step down from being king and go travel with Cinderella instead. That way they can claim their freedom and break free from the roles that they have been placed upon, blah, blah, blah. We fucking get it. Let's end this movie already. I pick you to be my princess. I, I assure you, it doesn't matter to me that you're not of royal birth. I assure you, it doesn't matter to me if you've said the N word to your band member before. It doesn't matter to me that you had to attend a racism workshop. What about my work? My dresses? Well, that would most Can... likely be frowned upon. I would make sure that you were dressed by the finest dressmakers in all the land. I'm a dressmaker. She's getting angry that she would get dressed by other people. Girl, your dress was literally made by your fairy godmother. You didn't even make that dress. I don't want a life stuck waving from a royal box any more than a life confined to a basement. You're right. Those two are exactly the same. Might as well just stay poor because it's basically the same thing, right? If it's a choice, I choose me. Oh my god, she chose herself. She made her own choices. Who wrote the script? Sarah J. Mass? I found the love. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. I found the boy. We're gonna hear the same Ed Sheeran song again. You already sang it in the ballroom. We don't need to hear it again. I just know they think the scene is so emotional. Bitch, you've literally met two times. It ain't that deep. But now I'm feeling tingly. I don't wanna go. Ew, what the fuck? Ew. Did we just see James Corden's head on a rat body? The editors knew what they were doing with this. They were like, James is a rat and we're gonna show it to everyone. It really just benefits the catapult maker. Quiet, Gwen. I really think we just need to get some sleep. No one asked you, Beatrice. Oh my God, it's like the king represents sexism and toxic masculinity. Because when he said quiet, that's actually a metaphor for how men systematically silence women. It's really deep if you think about about it. You saying yes to him means saying no to this. I can't do it. I have to try and make a life for myself, by myself, because that is what I want. And Queen Tatiana is my chance. I gotta choose my career over a man. I would rather make shitty Forever 21 dresses than ever be rich. Also, Queen Tatiana was kinda hot. Basically, you're choosing Queen Tatiana. Hmm? Is that the real message here? Hello, I'm waiting for my tea. 
Here's the tea, bitch. I'm a lesbian. I know I've been hard on you. It's not fueled by spite. I've never shared this with anyone before, but I used to play piano. Ooh, stepmommy knows how to play the piano. And I was good. I was really good. Stepmommy was so good with her fingers. She was really good. I was given the opportunity to train at the finest school of music. It was just a month, one month. My husband, he believed real wives didn't act so frivolously. So her husband was mad that she played piano for a month? If she's been on the receiving end of sexism in this society, why would she also suppress Cinderella's hobbies? This doesn't make any sense. Stepmommy, you don't make any sense. <gasps> Dude, you fucking idiot rat. You fucking stupid rat. Was that James Corden? I bet it was James Corden. Marry it. Marry it. Carry it. Wow, it's like by showing only women singing this song, that makes it more feminist. I definitely believe it. Wait, so how come women aren't allowed to set up a business or play piano, but they can apparently go fencing? What's with all these weird rules in this society? Have you ever wondered why Robert makes the process to marry so difficult? Yeah, because he's gay. I believe it's because of the example set before him by us. A marriage without love, without respect. Because <gasps> she's also gay? Work it, bitch. I see you in that suit. It is utterly exhausting to sit next to you and just smile as if I were nothing more than a prop, my voice completely silenced. Wow, it's like by him silencing her, it's a metaphor for how he silences her. That's why your power trip, you have to sit there and you're your slightly too tall throne because you're so insecure with your legacy that you have to control my every move. Just say he has a small dick. You're saying so many words, you can just condense it with one sentence. I was wrong. Yes, I was wrong. You're right. I have a micro penis. I, King Rowan. I, King Rowan, accept my son as a gay. Go ahead. Wear the heels, son. Why the sudden change of heart? Well, definitely wasn't your mom. I know this is supposed to be funny, but if this is supposed to show character development that he is finally being open-minded and listening to women, it doesn't make any sense that he would pretend that he didn't change his mind because of his wife. So he's still taking the credit for his change of heart. It's a man, it's a I know she ain't singing while running. In real life, that would be just can't afford if it's a million to one. <laughs> you inspired me. It never occurred to me that I could choose the course of my own life. It never occurred to you that you could make choices? I, I always felt that it was written for me, that I can have a life that is all mine. What I'm trying to say is that I choose me. I literally don't care. Talk about this to a therapist. A bitch has somewhere to be. It is I, your knight. Oh, he's gonna serenade her. His bones are gonna crack when he tries to get down. The horse tramples him to death. She becomes the sole monarch to his kingdom. Pack your bags. That's a lot of confidence for drawings. You don't know if she can actually make them. You don't know if they would actually be high quality as what you can do with magic, like with the fairy godmother. We're not in a rush to get married. Instead, we're going to travel the world together. What's happening? Gwen, my <laughs> darling girl, I hereby place you first in line to inherit the crown. Now it's time to stab the king in his sleeve. Fucking take it in your own hands. Do it. Kill your father. Become the new heir. Take the crown with your own bloody hands. All right, kill her. Kill her! She got the happy ending you didn't get. And for that, she must suffer. Don't let her believe that she can make her dreams come true. Such foolish whims must be met with death. No. Or you can just prove that you're a better singer than her. The movie is finally over. I don't really have any meaningful commentary about this movie. However, it really goes to show that there are so many ways to make the original story of Cinderella better. We have still yet to see those opportunities really seized upon. Hello, Editing Cindy here. Did you know that when you spend several hours editing a movie reaction, specifically this movie reaction, you end up getting the song stuck in your head. You end up humming along to the songs. 
you end up thinking, you know what? The soundtrack wasn't really that bad. Maybe the movie wasn't that bad either. And then you wonder if you're just losing it from several hours of editing. Regardless, you know I had to be compensated for this. So this video has been sponsored by NordVPN. All of my movie reactions have been on different streaming services like Amazon Prime for this one or Netflix for others. But a lot of times those streaming services only have specific movies or TV shows available in specific countries. So what's nice about having a VPN is that you can get access to that content by simply changing your IP address and moving yourself to any different country. But they have so many other uses as well, like protecting your data while you're traveling. You can also get double data encryption so that you can stay extra anonymous. They have super fast servers. There are over 5,560 countries. They have 24 seven customer support. And if you don't like it for whatever reason, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. You can go to nordvpn.com slash readwithcindy or use my code readwithcindy to get a two year plan plus four additional months for free with a huge discount. Check it out if you're interested. Go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to NordVPN instead. Goodbye.